And check out the view from the CTV Skywatch camera looking north on 13th Street North. We've got mostly cloudy skies out there and it's not surprising and you'll see why when we look at the satellite map. 22 degrees is where we're at. That is our daytime high. We got there at 3 p.m. and 6 was our low at 2 a.m. this morning. It was a very mild overnight temperature and we stayed at six degrees for a few hours and then bounced around a little bit, but temperatures are very, very mild. As you can see in Southern Alberta picking up, we're finally into that orangey red shade, which is very indicative of those warmer temperatures. But what we're watching is still a flow of um, pockets of unstable air masses moving across from the west to the east. So they're skipping over the mountains and that's why here in Southern Alberta picking up that cloud cover now. On this side though, still have an area of high pressure in the extreme most areas of the province. So that's keeping us in dry conditions, albeit cloudy conditions, as this kind of pushes across the mountains. But along the Continental Divide, and for you folks in Cranbrook tomorrow, could be seeing some afternoon shower activity and, and some mixed precipitation, especially in the higher elevations along the Continental Divide. All from that flow of uh, cloud cover and pockets of low pressure moving across from the BC coast. Still have heavy snowfall warnings up for the extreme northern sectors of northern BC. So that's still in play there expecting possibly 20 centimeters of snow in some areas there. But here in the south, as I said, we're looking at that pocket of precipitation. Uh, East Kootenai tomorrow seeing some afternoon and evening shower activity and then higher elevations picking that up. As we get into Saturday, you can see that that demarcation line of precipitation goes from about north of Calgary and then into the Red Deer Edmonton area. But here in the south, we remain dry for Saturday and Sunday. Seven degrees in St. John's right now. We have a trough of low pressure moving across the Maritimes, so that's creating some showers in the uh, Charlottetown area right now. Another pocket of low pressure moving across the Great Lakes, not really creating any real active weather, but just some broken cloud cover. Chance of showers tomorrow for the Toronto area. 14 degrees in Winnipeg right now, 9 degrees in Regina, 14 in Saskatoon, 20 in Edmonton, 20 in Kelowna. Got cloudy skies through much of southern BC right now, uh, especially in Vancouver. They're seeing cloud cover. And then we've got some light snowfall in Whitehorse. Yellowknife seeing some cloudy skies right now. Minus 7 is their current temperature in Yellowknife at this hour. East Kootenai, you're looking at uh, partly cloudy skies tonight. 8 degrees for a low. 15 for a high tomorrow. And like I said, Afternoon, evening, you have a chance of seeing some shower activity tomorrow. 15 degrees for a high. Medicine Hat, mainly clear tonight. 9 degrees, sun and cloud mixed tomorrow for you. And uh, you're looking at 14 degrees for a daytime high. Oh, here's Medicine Hat here. 23 degrees, that's better for a daytime high for you tomorrow. Crow's Nest Pass, you're getting the 14 degree daytime high. But Medicine Hat, very mild at 23. Here in Lethbridge, we're looking at 19 degrees for a daytime high after an overnight low of 8 degrees and tomorrow as I said just a sun and cloud mix and we're expecting that to continue to be the trend into Sunday. For us it's Monday and Tuesday that looks like we have that chance of precipitation and certainly the cooler temperatures as that area of high pressure collapses a little bit but it does start to rebuild as we get into Wednesday. 16 degrees for a daytime high and right now all the indicators are that Thursday and Friday we're looking at temperatures bouncing back into the 20 degree range so next weekend is boating to be very well as well. And our CTV Citizen Salute, Jana. I didn't get a lot of information, but I got a lot of nominations for, apparently, upwards of 25 years of volunteer service for various uh, organizations in southern BC and uh, southern Alberta. So congratulations. We have a basket here for you. That's it for me, everyone. Hope to see you tomorrow morning down at Fort Whoopup for the Interflex MS Walk. Have a good weekend, everyone.